This is National Correctional Officers Week, and we want to thank the more than 200 staff members and volunteers who work here in the Douglas County Detentions Division. We also want to give you an inside look at the work they do. My name is Myra Baez, I'm the captain of the Douglas County Sheriff's Office Detentions Division. We, we house around 390 inmates on any given day, and um, they um, range in uh, average stay from about 20 days it, um, that includes people who are here for several hours and bonded out to people who are here for several years um, awaiting trial. We have about 300 um, employees and volunteers that come to Douglas County uh, Detentions and they are incredible people because you can see that not everybody wants to work in this kind of an environment but um, we really try to support each other the specialists and deputies are so dedicated to working here. They're used to, to dealing with um, pretty tricky situations where people don't want to comply or they're um, trying to get away with something. Um, and, and so it takes a special person to, to deal with that and make sure um, that you know, we treat everybody with fairness and kindness and professionalism. When I see their professionalism, how patient they are, I'm so proud of, of uh, the people who work here. This is clean and orderly. And actually, you can tell right now, we're right in a main hallway, and it's fairly quiet, too. Um, you go to other jails, and it's loud and doesn't smell like this. I know this isn't smell-o-vision, but um, it always smells clean down here. And uh, we're, we're very proud of the facility. We take care of it. Well, we have lots of challenges with mental health and with um, drug addiction. Um, a lot of the, the inmates who are here staying with us, um, that's why they're here. We have a huge group of uh, both uh, jail-based uh, behavioral uh, people who care for them and try to keep track of what their needs are so we know where exactly we can take them or send them or get them the help they need. We want to make it possible for them not to come back here. So we're trying to educate them and give them classes, coping classes. Um, we have all kinds of religious programs that we provide because if they know that there's something else besides the life they were living and a way for them to stay out of custody, um, that should be everybody's goal.